I love harvesting plants in the north woods because it reminds me of when I first started in wild crafting. When I lived in Alaska in 1990, I became interested in ethnobotany and the local plants that were around me um, in the Matanuska Valley, north of Anchorage. So many of the plants in the north woods of Wisconsin are the same or similar to plants that grow in Alaska where I first got started. One of my favorite herbs for the immune system is Usnea lichen. And this is, a, the one I'm holding here in my hand is a look-alike of Usnea, which it can be confusing. Um, Usnea grows on dead wood and often it'll be on either uh, stumps or it'll also be on the older wood on the lower parts of trees. And I found it on evergreens and on hardwoods. This imposter is also a hairy lichen, um, but the way it comes off the branch is more like an antler. And you'll see in a minute how to tell the difference. And we're looking at a, this is a dead fir tree that we're looking at, very common in the North Woods. Here is the true Usnea. Uh, similar, it's a different species than the Usnea that grows in the Pacific Northwest. Um, and it's much smaller, but there's a similar way to ID this lichen. It's always attached to the wood on a single stem. So I can pull it off. You can see where it's attached only in one place as opposed to the other look-alike, which I just showed you. Also, Usnea species have a unique way of growing in which they have a light green sheath that covers a white thread inside. And so if I'm unsure, I take one of the branches and I scrape with my nail at the white, at the uh, light green sheath. And eventually I'll expose the white thread underneath. The white thread that's common to all usneas. And after a rain, if these lichens are moist, that white thread will actually be very elastic and it'll even stretch. I pick, it takes a while to harvest a full jar of these, but I pick, um, I walk through the woods and gather these into a jar, and then I prepare back at camp, I make a tincture of these. Um, and the way you need to prepare usnea is heat it in water first. And my teacher in the Northwest, uh, Cascade Anderson Geller, taught me that, that um, the usnic acid is heat activated. So I heat it up in a little bit of water before tincturing it in 70% alcohol. And I use usnea similar to how we use echinacea. It's an immune system stimulant and it's particularly powerful uh, for respiratory infections. But I use it for all internal and external infections. Can harvest it any time of year and Usnea is actually the genus name. Um, in, on the, in the Northwest, they call this plant old man's beard because it grows in huge sheets off the trees. Yeah. So here in the North Woods, we have to work a little harder to gather enough of this plant, which grows in tiny pieces. Uh, a few summers back, I was wild crafting with my daughters and I walked into a bog while my daughters watched goggle-eyed as I hopped from tussock to tussock um, between mucky, sticky water picking usnea off the dead spruce trees. So I think my daughter, daughters will never forget that moment. They were scared I was going to fall in the stinky bog. But I got what I came for. <laughs> All right, cool. I love that one. All right.